All right, hello and welcome to a session of Fit Essentials. My name is Shauna. I'll be guiding you through class. We're going to be utilizing like a light resistance band in our first circuit this morning and then just some free weights after that. So if you want to go ahead, we're going to start on the floor to get started. Come on down to hands and knees. All right, go ahead and make your way down to hands and knees. We're going to stretch out our forearms and then we'll do some breathing exercises with our cat cow to warm up the body. So as you come on down, we're going to turn the palms down so the fingers are pointing in towards you. Draw your abdomen in so you don't overarch that low back and then just gently lean back here. Get a nice stretch to the forearms, spreading the fingers nice and wide. Good. From there, come on back forward and then you're going to turn the hands so those fingers are going to face in towards one another, kind of interlapping. And then we're going to rotate our body around. Just nice smooth breathing as you move through this. After you swivel your body around about three times in one direction, go ahead and switch it up, rotate the other way. Very good. And then lastly, come on off the hands onto your knees and we'll just make a gentle fist and rotate the wrist around. Very good. Three to five, one direction, and then rotate the other way. Three to five, the other way. Very good. From here, place the back of the hands together, draw your shoulders down, and then draw those elbows down. Yep, pull those elbows down. Try to keep the back of the hands together as much as you can. Excellent, and shake it out from there. All right, from here, we're going to place the knees just underneath the hips. <clears throat> nice wide handprint. Hands underneath those excuse me, shoulders, and now we're going to go into our cat-cow sequence. So you're going to draw the spine up between your shoulder blades, draw the chin in towards the chest as you exhale, and then gently bring the shoulders down the spine, lift the chest, gently arch as you inhale. Just take it through about three to four more cycles. Exhale, pushing through the shoulders, draw the head down, and inhale, gently arch. Good. Find your own sequence for the next two to three. When you finish, we're going to take it back into child's position. One or two more. Very good. After that next exhale, big toes come together, divide the knees about the width of your mat, reach your arms straight out in front, and then slowly drop the hips back towards the heels, lower the head between the arms. And let's spend about three cycles of breathing here. So trying to send the air to the outsides of the rib cage. Nice deep inhale, and on your exhale, drop a little bit closer to the floor. Twice more. Very good. Once you come on up from that, just go ahead and make your way onto your back. You're going to have that light resistance band, light to moderate. We're going to be doing some double leg glute bridge and some single leg glute bridge with some uh, backside activation, lying on your stomach in between our lion flies or Superman. So as you pick up your band, we're going to bring it around both legs, coming just above the knees. And if you don't have a band here today, totally all right. You can do these movements without the band. You have a good effect there as well. All right. As you make your way onto the back, we're going to stretch the low back just a little bit before we get started here, but you're fine to have that band on. Go ahead and pull the shoulder blades back. Think about opening the chest, and then you're going to hug both legs in. Gently rock yourself side to side. Just looking to loosen up the low back. Everything's feeling comfortable with the arms holding the legs. You can take your arms out to the sides and then legs up and together, two knee twists. Both legs come to one side, turn the head looking over that opposite shoulder. Hold it for a couple of breaths and then sweep the legs across, turn the head the other way. Same thing, other side. We'll get about two touches on each side. 
and you get to control how far into that twist you feel like sinking today. Back to the first side when you're ready, ensuring that you turn the head. Good, and balance yourself out. Same thing, second side. Fantastic. Alrighty, as you finish both sides, we'll get started here in about 15 seconds. You're gonna look to push out against that band, set the feet firmly on the ground, about the hip width apart. Arms out to the side, and then when you're ready, we'll start that double leg bridge. So you'll roll the hips back, driving the legs out, starting to raise those hips up towards the ceiling as you draw the chin in towards your chest, and then lowering it down. You're gonna spend about 30 to 45 seconds here. Starting to open up the front of the hips, activating that backside of the body. Good. Let's go one more rep, bringing it back down to the floor, bringing the hips back up, driving those knees out, squeeze the glutes. And then two, one, go ahead and rest. Fantastic. You can keep that band where it is and gradually roll over to the front side of your body. You're going to lie on your stomach next. As you come onto your stomach, think about keeping your legs together. You're gonna turn the palms up, draw the shoulders back, draw the chin in. And then when you're ready, you're gonna lift up the front side of the body. I encourage you to keep your feet on the ground, draw that chin in. And then just think about pushing your palms up towards the sky. So you really activate that mid back. Chin squeezes in. You're still activating the glutes as well. And then anytime you need a break from that position, just bring the front side down. Take another breath, and then when you're ready, think about lengthening from the top of your head to the bottoms of your feet. If you want to start to lift the feet off the ground as well, you can. Just watch if there's no pinching in that low back. Squeezing the glutes, squeezing those shoulder blades together, and lengthening. Good. Down and rest. Very nice. From here, let's come back in the child's position with the knees a little bit closer than normal, and we're going to make our way back onto our back. Just a brief little stretch here, kind of rotating from one side to the other, reaching the arms nice and long in front of your body. Fantastic. And then coming back onto your back, we're moving into our single leg glute bridge next. Half the warm up here is rolling on the front to the back, every other exercise. All right, as you come on back to the back, back into that glute bridge position. And now we're going to start with your right leg up in the air left heel on the ground. Three, two, one, here we go. Drive that left heel, squeeze the glutes, lifting the hips up, and make sure you use your upper body here as well. I'm really bracing through my arms, pushing down into the floor, up and down for those single leg pulses. Very good. Looking to keep the hips nice and level. Good, 10 more seconds and then we'll switch sides. Very nice. I'm gonna feel that hamstring of that left leg activate, trying to squeeze the glutes, lift the hips. Two, one, and rest. Go ahead and switch legs. Bring the right leg down, extend the left leg up, reset those shoulders as needed. Make sure those shoulder blades are pinned under your body. And two, one, here we go. You can exhale as you elevate up, really. Gripping the toes of that right leg, activating that whole foot, and remembering to still use that upper body, pushing those arms down, pushing that mid back down to the floor to help support that bridge. Good, a couple more reps. And three, two, one, and rotate. Fantastic. Back to all fours, hands and knees this time. So similar to that cat cow movements that we did earlier, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, still have that band on the legs. And then when you're ready, what you're gonna do is you're gonna barely lift the knees off the ground. And now we're practicing shoulder taps or just arm raises of the upper body. So you can either just pick the hands up or you can cross the body and touch the hand to the opposite shoulder, having as little movement as possible. There you go, good Jean. Wide handprint, grip the hands. 
kind of show control, hand to the opposite shoulder, and then lightly place that hand back down. You feel that midline firing. Good, right about 10 more seconds. Try to have as little shift as possible from hand to me, shoulders to hips, and two, one, and rest. Fantastic, if the water's nearby, grab a drink, and we're gonna be back to our double leg loop bridge here in about 30 seconds. Good job. So making your way back down to onto your back, similar to our first little bit here. Both feet on the ground, knees pushing wide, starting in five, two, feet just a little bit wider, Jean. There you go. And then when you're ready, lift those hips up, draw that chin in, both legs together this time, holding at the top, down and rest. Keep those knees driving wide as you lift the hips and try not to let the knees drop in as you lower the hips. So you wanna hold the legs in a similar position throughout. Just have that movement up and down through the hips. Good. And while we wanna to look to go as high as possible, let your body be the guide. If you're having a pinching in the low back, pinching in the front of the hips, just lower your bridge down a little bit. You'll still get a good, Exercise, a fire in the backside. Two, one, and rest. Great job, rolling back onto your stomach. Lion flies or our superhumans. So you can either keep the hands at your sides or bring the hands behind your head. It'll be the same idea from there. Chin draws in, activate the back of the body, lengthening from head to toe, squeezing those shoulder blades together as you fire the glutes. Down and rest when you need, and then Breathe in, lift up. Just really key not to hold your breath as you're holding that position. Excellent. Take about another 20 seconds here. All different ways to activate the back side of the body. Similar to when we did those bridges, we wanna avoid any kind of pinching sensations. Just wanna feel the muscles fire. Very nice, keep that chin pulled in and two, one and rest. Excellent, back into child's position, a little bit of a modification with the knees a little closer. Stretch that low back. Very nice. And then we'll roll it back over, final time through the single leg loop bridge. Very nice, coming back onto the back. Roll those shoulder blades or kind of tuck them underneath the rib cage. Set the feet down. Let's start with the left foot planted, right foot up in the air. Arms down at the sides. Two, one, here we go. Drive to that heel, elevate the hips. Pause at the top, down and relax. Good job. I tend to breathe out as I lift up, breathe in as we lower down. Good, halfway through. Very nice, Let's get one more quality rep here, then we'll switch legs. Pause the top, pushing and switching sides. Opposite leg, plant that right foot down, lift the left leg up, and when you're ready, Excellent. Nice to see the weather is calm enough in Ohio to be outside today. That's excellent. We are not having that kind of weather here in Colorado. Over halfway, staying focused. Good, maybe one or two more reps. Controlling down, pushing through that heel, lifting the hips up. And three, two, one, and rest. Good job, you can go ahead and pull the band off your legs if you're using it. And then back to all fours for those quadruped shoulder taps. All right, so nice wide handprint, keeping the knees just underneath the hips. And then face forward here for this, turn the toes under. And then when you're ready, the knees barely come off the ground and then hand to the opposite shoulder. 
Grip the fingers down. Yeah. Moving with control. Excellent. Much better. Once you know the motion, look right down at your hands. So looking the chin in. Draw that abdomen in, try not to let any movement happen through the hips and shoulders. Good, another 10 seconds. Fantastic. Go ahead and even out the hands in three, two, one, and rest. Awesome. Come back down to the knees, bring those big toes together, divide the knees out, and then we're going to go supinated child's position. So bring your little fingers together, palms up towards the ceiling, and then rock back from there. Ah. Opening up that mid back. Very good. Come on back forward onto your hands. Bring one hand behind the head. We do our mid back rotations. Elbow comes towards that opposite elbow, lifting up out of that downside shoulder, peer up towards the ceiling. Good, let's go between five and eight on each side. Breathe in as you close the elbows to the opposite elbow. Exhale as you open. Fantastic, and a little bit of overhead work going on in our second circuit today. Dips are coming up next with some single leg deadlift practice, working on our balance. One or two more on this side and then we'll switch sides. Good, opposite arm when you're ready. Same idea. Really take your time pulling that elbow back behind you as you peer up to the ceiling. Getting that nice opening through the rib cage. One or two more. Very nice, we're gonna go into down dog next. Hands through the shoulders, turn those toes under. Open that mid back a bit more by taking your time to pulse the chest towards your thighs as you draw the chin in towards your chest. Kind of rock forward onto your hands. Keep those hips elevated as you rock back. And then from here, let's walk out those heels, stretch the calves. Very good. I want you to get a nice stretch for the back of the legs, just nice and slowly, inchworm our way, walking the feet towards the hands, walking the hands towards the feet, and then we'll turn it into a little toe touch stretch on our way up. Soft bend those knees, just nice and slow. Bring the hands up the legs, coming all the way back to standing. Ah, fantastic. All right, let's grab another drink. We'll do a little bit more stretching, kind of wake up our balance, and then we'll get on to the next circuit. All right, first thing we're gonna do is some ankle rolls. So lift everything up, hands out to the side, shoulders down out of the ears. Now let's warm up those ankles about five times one direction. Good, keep that knee up if you can. Turn the foot the other way. I moose. Don't eat my foot. All right, set that foot down. Same thing, other side. Grip the toes, draw everything up and in. And same thing, other leg. Lift the knee. Roll that foot around. Good, switch directions when you're ready. Woo, moose challenge. Fantastic, once you finish those ankle rolls, wide base stance, we're gonna open up those inner thighs next. Grip the feet down, reach those arms out, and now we're gonna go into a little side squat here, pushing the knee wide. Moose is getting some of his teeth in. Arms reach out, opposite side here. So he just wants to chew, especially me. And second time each way, chest up, gripping those toes down, good. Keep those knees driving wide. Don't chew that mat, nope. Same thing, final time, second side, and then we're gonna come back to standing for our quad stretch. Very good. Even that out, we'll shimmy those feet back in, grip the foot back down. Draw everything up. And now we're gonna grab onto that foot. Hips nice and level. We'll hold about 20 seconds here, stretching out this quad. Very nice. With that soft on the knee, if you wanna to start to 
challenge the balance a little bit, come to a little bit more of a hinge. You can reach it out forward, find a spot straight ahead of you. Good, keep driving that back thigh up in two, one, and rest. Shake it out. Same thing, other side. Place it down, draw everything up and in. Grab that foot. Nice. Yeah. Pulling the heel towards the glute, soft bend of the knee. And then if you want to stretch it out, you want to draw that back thigh up as your chest comes forward. <laughs> Good, about 10 more seconds here. And three, two, one, and come up from there. Nice. All right, we're gonna go back to that toe touch. We did just kind of a modification of one as we were coming up out of down dog. So both feet straight ahead, draw the belly in, soft bend those knees, and we're gonna intentionally round the spine on this. You'll bring your chin down to your chest, and then just nice and slow, think about rounding one segment at a time, sliding down towards the ground, seeing where that range of motion is here today. Once you find that bottom position, a couple of deep breaths into the back, on the exhale, see if your body wants to lower down just a bit more. On that next inhale, gradually make your way back up to standing. Ah, fantastic. All right, one more stretch and then we'll get into it. We're going to go our wide base stance behind the back stretch. Let's open up the chest. So broaden those shoulders, pull the ribs down so you don't go into a sway back posture here. And then now we're gonna send the hips back and think long spine as you lower the head down, draw those arms up to overhead. You can kind of gently rotate like you're looking over one shoulder and then look over the other shoulder subtly here. Good, when you're ready, come on back to standing. Excellent. All right, you're gonna to wanna to have an area to dip. If anything's going on and maybe you don't feel like you want to dip today through the shoulders, you can always replace like a push up or a front plank for the dip portion. We're going to have 40 seconds on each exercise. We'll start with our single leg deadlift. If you don't feel like you're ready for that single leg deadlift, you could always practice your balance. Just standing on one leg. We'll do the dips in between legs and then we're going to come down to the floor for some plank walkovers at the end of the circuit. All right, I'm gonna recommend without weights on this first round, we're gonna have three rounds to practice this. Up to you if you do wanna start with weights. Otherwise, let's place your left foot down, all the toes pointing straight ahead, draw everything up and in, shoulders back. And then when you're ready, we're gonna hinge forward, reaching for the floor, trying to keep that back thigh parallel to the torso. As you come forward, if you wanna lift the knee up forward, you can. Staying tall up out of that hip, Long spine as you reach down. We want that back toe not to point out, but to point down towards the floor. Very good. Yep. That's it, Jean. Taking your time, lifting up out of that support hip, reaching down and moving through. Beautiful. Do one more. Awesome. Standing tall. Draw that knee up and forward. And two, one, rotate. All right, come into our dip position next. So onto a chair, onto a bench, sitting up nice and tall. You wanna really exaggerate, drawing those shoulders back, place the hands down, coming forward in two, one, here we go. Keeping your elbows relatively, kind of pulling them together as you lower down. Option to add the hip bridge at the top, beautiful. Sinking in and driving tall, really opening through the shoulders and hips, awesome. As always, no pinching that low back, just opening and lifting through the chest and shoulders. Good. We want to keep the shoulders out of the ears as we do these dips. Beautiful. 15 seconds. There you go. Nice work. Once you know the movement, just try to keep the head nice and neutral, looking straight ahead. And two, one, and rotate. All right, come back to standing, single leg deadlift with your right foot as your support leg. Set the foot down, all those toes pointing straight on. Draw everything up and in, soft bend the knee, and then when you're ready, here we go, hinging forward, 
Reaching for that ground straight in front of your foot. Ooh, coming through, lifting the knee. Awesome. Lift up out of that hip. There you go. Whoop. And draw it forward. Very nice. Good, Gene. Good control. Practicing that balance. Beautiful. All right, 15 seconds. Couple more reps here. This is not an exercise that you want to try to go fast. It's more about that control and that balance. We'll have some time for some faster tempo in our last circuit. And when you finish, take a pause. All right, we're coming back down to the floor, onto the hands, like a top of the push up. And then the walk over refers to the feet. So if you're holding a plank, and you can imagine you have a little, just like a low hurdle, and you're walking your feet to one side, walking your feet to the other, keeping the hips high. So go ahead and come on down. We'll start in 10. Wide handprint, hips and shoulders level. Two, one, here we go. So drawing that lower abdomen in, step to the center, step to one side, back to the center, and then you can step it out to the other side. Nice. Little short step overs. We're good. That's 20 seconds. Halfway through. Keeping that positioning through that mid body as well. Not letting yourself collapse into the shoulders. We're over 30 seconds in. And three, two, one and rest. Fantastic. Go ahead and inchworm your way up to your feet. We'll grab a drink of water. We'll start here in about 30 seconds. Back to that single leg deadlift on your left. Choose to hold some weights with this movement. If I'm standing on my left leg, I prefer to hold the weight in my right hand. Just find that it helps me keep my hips a little bit more level helps prevent me from rotating away. All right, shoulders back and down, standing nice and tall. Two, one, here we go. Back leg drives up, good. Try to find a spot to focus on, and then you can still bring that knee up, bringing the weight to the outside of the leg, nice. Yep. Reaching forward, drawing tall, excellent. So this is an exercise that I find best to do without shoes on because you can really activate the arch of the foot, really practice gripping the foot down, get all those small muscles of the foot to work. That's going to really benefit our balance later on. Very nice. Last time, making sure you're not collapsing to that hip. And two, one, and rest. Excellent. Making your way to the dips. Come down to seated, sit nice and tall, lift the chest, draw the shoulders back. And two, one, here we go. Trying to sink the shoulders either level to the elbows or slightly lower than. Sometimes you'll feel a little tension in the front of the shoulders. Oftentimes it's just muscle tension, but you don't want it to be painful. So if you feel like you're gonna grimace at all, don't go quite as deep. Good job. Breathe into lower, exhale as you lift. Open the shoulders, open the chest. Nice. That's 30 seconds. Good, maybe one more. Control down, push tall and transition. Excellent. All right, then back to the deadlift. This time with your right leg as your support leg. If you're holding a weight, recommend holding it in your left hand. <sighs> Take a nice deep breath, set the foot, lifting everything up, and here we go. Really give your attention that big toe on your right leg, kind of pushing it down into the floor. Feel the arch of your foot activate. Whoop. Yep. And every time, pull back up before you hinge forward. I'm gonna reestablish that posture. Good. Find a spot to focus on throughout. Back thigh drives up just a little bit higher if you can, Jean. Think about engaging that glute as you hinge forward. Last time. And two, one, and rotate. Excellent. 
Down to the floor for our plank walkovers. Top of the push up, wide hand print. We'll start in five, three, two, one. Here we go. So holding that nice, strong front plank, and then just those little mini steps to one side of the body, back to center, and then to the opposite side. So the idea here is as we move the feet, we want to hold that pelvis, hold your hips neutral. You'll tend to want to rock forward, which puts you into a sway back posture. So draw the belly button in throughout. Lifting up strong through those shoulders. Nice. We're over halfway, 15 seconds left. This is the end of round two. We'll have one more round after this. And two, one, take a pause. Very good. All righty. Feel free to stretch anything out as you come back to your feet. We'll take 30 seconds and then we'll be into our third and final round. Nice work. A little bit slower paced exercises here this morning, building some work in the balance area, working on good control. All righty, 10 seconds. You'll be supporting on your left leg. If you're holding weights, recommend holding it in your right hand. If you're holding that weight, draw the shoulder back, palm slightly forward, draw everything in. And here we go. Soft bend in that left knee. Right foot points down towards the floor. Option to draw that knee up and forward. Good. There you go. Imagine we have those guide wires coming down from the heavens, pulling ourselves up nice and tall, giving us an assist against gravity. Wonderful. 10 seconds left. Good focus. And three, two, one. Making your way back to the dips. Final round. Come into position, sitting tall up out of your sit bones. Draw the shoulders back. Three, two, one. Here we go. Yep. Nice, good broad chest position. If you want more work on your upper body, take the glute bridge, the bridge portion out of it. And that will speed up your tempo just a little bit. Up and down. You can challenge that upper body a bit more. Halfway through. So trying to lock out those elbows without hyperextending. Think about kind of lifting to the chest. Beautiful. Couple more reps. Two, one, and time there. Good job. Making your way back up to standing. We'll start in 20 seconds on that your right leg. The holding weight, pick it up in the left hand. Set that shoulder back, rotate the palm slightly forward. Good, lift everything up, keeping that soft bend through your right leg. And two, one, here we go. Controlling that forward hinge, keeping the spine nice and long. Awesome. There you go, very nice. Control. Lift up to those hips as you draw that knee forward. Good, and lifting back up as you come into that next rep. Oops, <laughs> a little bit of balance support on my chair. Good, over halfway. Excellent, Jean, long spine, staying tall. Maybe one more, reach it out, bringing it forward. Two, one, and rest. Excellent job, final time on those plank shoulder taps. I said shoulder taps, plank walkovers. So wide hand prints. The feet are moving, not the hands on this one. Turn those toes under. And when you're ready, keeping the feet relatively close, keeping the hips as level as you can. If you happen to have any discomfort in the low back as you're doing this, then just hold a static plank. Take the walking out of it. Good job. Keeping the soft bend in the elbows. We're over halfway. Keep the breathing going. Nice. 
Very nice. Final 10 seconds. Pulling strong. And two, one, and rest. Fantastic. Go ahead and come on down to hands and knees. Alrighty, with the knees on the ground, bring those knees in together so they're touching. We're gonna do our quadruped hip rock here. Just bringing the hips to one side and then up and across to the other with the knees touching. Just only sink as far as you're confident here. Slight stretch on the low back, side of the hips. All right, and then as you finish that, turn the toes under back into down dog and we'll make our way back up to the feet. Go ahead, pedal those heels once again. We have the option for some jumping jacks in our final circuit. And when you're ready, gradually inchworm your way back up to standing. We're gonna warm up some squats before we get started. All right. So go ahead and set your feet about hip width apart, just a slight toe out. We're gonna do five squats here with some stretching mixed in. So reaching those arms out, taking your time, sinking those hips back, knees drive nice and wide. Good, on the first one, we're just gonna come right back up, relax those arms down. This time we're gonna come into our prayer position with our hands. So knees drive wide, hands come down in front of the chest, elbows on the insides of the knees if you can, and just try not to just drop down. So keep some engagement through those hips. Lift them up just a bit. Very good, and then when you're ready, reach those arms back out, push to the feet, come back up to standing. Awesome. All right, on this next one, we're gonna come back down and open up the mid back. So coming back down to the bottom. Now, if you can grab your hands with your feet, with your hands, use one elbow to push the knee out, take the other hand, reaching it up, following the hand with your gaze. Good, and then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Push that elbow out, keep that chest as tall as you can and reaching up, beautiful. Twice more each side, if you can stay okay in the squat, anytime you need a break, come on out of it. <sighs> Excellent work. Open, opening the chest, opening that mid back, and obviously a big opening for the hips here. All right, reach those arms straight out, push through your feet, and come on back up. Fantastic. All right, and then one more stretch before we jump into this circuit. Side, uh, side bend with the tricep opening from a stagger stance. So stagger stance, tricep, side bend, if I get my words here. Draw the abdomen in, step one foot back. If you Good, I'm gonna mirror Eugene. So if the left foot, right foot's back, reach the right arm up and then bend that right elbow, reaching around. So we're focused here to open the hip, shift the hips forward, squeeze the glute, eyes up, and we'll bend towards your front leg. Fantastic, keeping the eyes looking straight on. You come out of that side bend, we'll go one more time into that side bend, lifting up, bend towards the front leg, should be your left foot forward and take your left shoulder, rotate up, peering past your right arm, looking up towards the sky. Ah. Alrighty, unwind from there, in between sides, a little sidestep arm swing. Shoulders back and down, alternate which arm crosses in front. All right, and then we'll bounce that on the opposite side. So this time your left foot steps back, Draw the abdomen in, reach that left arm up. Good, bending at the elbow, reaching around. So here we are, chest tall, shift the hip forward, draw the chest in or belly in, and now bend towards your right. Breathe in here for a couple of reps. Good, coming out of it, coming back into it, and then we'll add that little bit of a rotation. So you'll bend towards your right, and then rotate your downside shoulder, try to peer up past your left elbow. Breathe a couple of cycles there. And then unwind and shake it out. Woo! All right, for our final circuit, we're gonna be going four rounds. We're gonna start with a thruster. So you can hold some weight underneath your chin or at the shoulders reaching up to overhead while 30 seconds of a thruster. Then we're gonna go into an uneven carry. Heavier weight in the downside arm, lighter weight in the upside arm. You can hold it or you can march to keep the heart rate up. From there, we're gonna go back to some squatting without the overhead reach. 
you know, go unweighted or a regular, call it a goblet squat. And then we'll do our uneven carry on the opposite side. Last 30 seconds, you can either take a rest or join us for some jumping jacks and blood flow work. Any questions? We'll give 15 seconds in between each exercise to transition the weights, 30 seconds of work at each. All right. So go ahead and find what you want to start with for your thruster. Full squat up to overhead and have your weights ready for your carries. We'll start here in 10 seconds. All right. Set the feet. Chest up, eyes up in two, one. Here we go. Controlling down. Exhale as you drive up. Remember, our first of four rounds. So pace yourself through it. Nice steady breathing. Super. As you reach high to overhead, keep the ribs pulled in so you don't sway back. Squeeze the booty and just nice and tall, shoulder stacked right over the hips. Excellent. Maybe one more, two, one, and transition. All right, uneven carry next. Heavier weight is going to be in your left hand, lighter weight in your right. And you're going to bring the lighter weight up at the shoulder. All right, when you're ready, you can start that march. A little bit heavier hand, have that palm slightly forward. We always want to be working our posture here. So pulling the shoulder back, keeping that chest nice and tall. Excellent. And then watch so we don't wing the elbow out of the hand that we call this our front rack position. Holding the weight at the shoulder. Good. Almost there. Two, one, and transition. Go ahead and set the weights down. We're going back to the squats. So you could go unweighted with the squat or you can hold a weight up at the shoulders underneath the chin. Set the feet, two, one, here we go. Nice, smooth breathing, excellent. There you go. And just watch that your toes aren't overly toed out, just a very slight toe out, five to 10 degrees. Help open those hips. Excellent, 10 seconds left. Either reaching those arms out as you lower down with no weights, or if you're holding them weights, push your elbows up and forward and take a rest. Good job, back to the uneven carry. Heavier weight's gonna be in your right hand this time, lighter weight in the left. Good, elbow up and forward, palm slightly forward, two, one, and march. Excellent. I really exaggerate chest tall, broad chest, eyes up, hips nice and level as you march. Good, we're over halfway. Good job, and three, two, one, and rest. All righty, as you shut your weights down, you're gonna take a full rest, or keep that heart rate up. Jump jacks, step jacks. Woo. Nice. All right, 10 seconds. And then we'll have a 15 second break till we start set two. Two, one, and rest. All right, we're gonna be back to the thruster. With or without weights. If you're not using weights, just reach your arms up to overhead. Getting ready for thruster in two, one, and begin. As the heart rate's elevated, you might find that you're breathing two cycles for every rep. That's where I'm at now. So I breathe out as I lower down. I breathe out as I drive up. And your body's gonna naturally breathe back in. Good. Nice work, Jean. Good control into that squat. Maybe one more. Two, one, and back to our uneven carry. Have your weight in your left hand. Lighter weight in the right. 
depending on how light the right one is. If you want a more of a challenge for overhead work, you could take that lighter weight up to overhead. I'm gonna stick with the front rack today. Ah, nice job. Smile, keep your eyes up, stay positive. Exercise is a great way of just kind of practice being present. Focus on the moment. Five seconds, two, one, and transition. Good. We're back to the squats. Either a goblet squat or just simply an air squat. I'll show the air squat this time without weight. Body weight squat. Nice deep breath. And when we're ready, you can reach those arms out, sinking the hips down, standing tall. Good. Really key to keep the whole foot in contact with the ground. Common for people to be stiff in the ankles, kind of come off the heels. But then we also see people lifting all the toes up. So we want to keep the whole foot in contact. Coming down as far as we can without losing that position of the low back. So you don't want to feel like your hips are turning underneath you in the bottom. Last one. And we're back to the carry. All right, we're picking up your heavier weights in your right hand this time, lighter weight in the left. Good stamina work here today, two, one, here we go. Carry serve lots of purpose for us. It's like standing core work, especially when we're uneven, it mimics just everyday life. And we have to like carry things around that aren't balanced. You have any grandchildren or puppy dogs in your life they're never balanced if you have to pick them up and move them around so we're just training our body to be able to handle all the demands of every day and there's our rest fantastic set it down you can jump jack here do our little like rebounding march ah, nice and relaxed through the ankles a little, like skier step good 30 seconds till we start set three 10 more seconds if you want to keep this blood flow going, but feel free to give a little extra break. We're exactly halfway through our final circuit. Two, one, and rest. All right, back to our second to set, excuse me, second to last round of thrusters. Starting in 10. Elbows up and forward. Two, one, begin. Back into that squat. This time with that overhead reach. Very nice. So reach those arms up, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the backside, and keep your midline strong. Wonderful. Elevate those shoulders high to overhead, pushing that weight straight over the top of the head or reaching your arms straight up without weights. Good. Let's get one more. And two, one. Transition back to the carry. Heavier weight in your left, lighter weight in your right. Starting at five and two, one. Here we go. Remember forward elbow position and forward palm position. Nice. Get that cadence going. Doesn't be, need to be a super high knee, but try to lift the foot and toes as well. Halfway. All right, doing great. Five more seconds. Staying tall. And two, one, and pause. Excellent. Back to the squats. You can hold a weight, or you can just reach those arms straight out. All right. Two, one, when you're ready. Good control. Excellent. Gene, try to bring your toes just a little bit more forward. Show that right foot, just set a little bit more forward. There you go. And then from there, nice, looks better. Halfway through on the squats. Good job. Knees push wide, both on the down and the up. They want to tend to dive in sometimes. There we go. Maybe one more. And rotate back to the carry. Have your weight in your right hand, lighter weight in your left. I said that correct. 
And three, two, one. March it out. Woo. Three of four rounds, almost done. Staying focused. Elbow up and forward on your left arm. It tends to want to point out. So if you're looking at the screen, you're going to point that elbow straight forward at me. Good. And on that right hand, keep drawing that shoulder back, slight forward rotation of the palm. Good. Two, one, and there's our rest. All right. So either a full rest or some blood flow action. And then just do a little bit of a slower pace cross crawl with the feet behind me. If you prefer the jumping jacks or the rebounding, by all means. I'm not looking to challenge myself quite as much today. So we're going to just challenge the mind on this last little stretch here, more than the body. Good. 10 more seconds. And then we'll have 20 seconds until we start our fourth and final set. Two, one, and pause. All right, 20 seconds. We'll be back for our last circuit. Thrusters to kick it off. All right, so however you want to challenge yourself or just go steady this last time through, step those feet just a slight toe out, eyes up, and here we go. Controlling down, coming into that overhead reach. Good. Pressures are one of the more challenging movements we do here, especially for the metabolic system. It's that heart rate up, similar to burpees, but a different range of motion. Good, 10 seconds left. Stay tall as you sink in that squat. Don't let that chest drop. Fantastic, final rep. Two, one, and transition. All righty. Heavier weight in your left, lighter weight in your right. Second to last carry. Elbow up and forward on the left. Uh, let's see, am I showing it right? Your left, nope, I'm in the wrong side. All righty, we're 10 seconds in. Palm forward, elbow up. Nice breathing, halfway. Keep drawing that shoulder back of your left hand. Nice, five seconds. Coming into our final set of squats in two, one, transition. If you want the extra weighted challenge, you can hold some weight here. If you want to be more metabolic, you could probably go a little faster without the weights. Three, two, one, and final set of squats. Nice. There you go. Go ahead and let those archers drop down, gripping the toes. Good, halfway through. Nice job, Jean. Nice consistent range of motion. When you can squat down all the way up, it's easy to get in and out of the chairs. Helps getting on and off the ground a lot easier too. One more, two, one, and transi transition. Coming to our final carry. Slightly heavier weight in your right hand. Lighter weight in the left. And here we go. Fantastic, keeping those eyes up. Basically our final minute of work here. And we'll have a little bit of a cool down stretch to finish. Good, halfway. Nice work, up and forward, three, Two, one, and time. Set that down. And I'm gonna do that same blood flow piece we did at the end of round three with that behind the back. Challenge the balance a little bit. And we'll cross the midline of the body, hand to the opposite foot. Beautiful, finish this out here. <sighs> Trying to bring down the heart rate just a little bit as we step here. Keeping ourselves nice and tall. Good. Let's get about one more on each side. Reach for that foot. And two, one, and all done. Nice job. Give us a little round of applause. 
Grab a drink of water. And we're gonna do a little stretch from standing today. All right, first thing we're gonna do after you grab a drink is our toe touch stretch. So toes pointing straight ahead, draw the belly in, chin to the chest, and just gradually slide those hands down, allowing your spine to round here, ensuring that you're not locking out those knees. Good, and then breathing. Try to send that air into the back of the rib cage. We tend to not only use just a small portion of our lung capacity. So when we're exercising and when we're stretching, we can really kind of wake up the depths of our lungs with our breathing. Good, next inhale, make your way back up to the top. Standing tall already. And then we're gonna go back to our stagger stance. Let's go left foot forward, right foot back. All right, so we're gonna reach that right arm up, stretch out that upper body and those hips once again, reaching around, translate that back hip forward. So just shifting it forward and then bend towards your left. Good, come out of it one time, lift back up, send the hip back forward, and then once again, bending towards your left, and you'll take that left shoulder, rotate up towards the sky, try to look past your right arm, try to hold this for two breaths, and unwind and come on out. Awesome job. Same thing, other side, right foot forward, left foot back, try to sink the heel down to that left foot, the back leg, Left arm comes up, lengthen through that head and neck. Good, hip shift first. So engage the glute, send the hips forward, and then holding those hips forward, you'll bend to the side. Good, come up out of that side bend. We'll go into it one more time. Nice big breath, tall chest, bending to the side. And now your right shoulder is gonna rotate, peering up past that left arm. Breathing into this twisted position here. Ah, and unwind and come on out. Awesome. And then last one here, we're gonna do our wall or I'll use the back of the chair, kind of an overhead stretch. What this looks like, you're gonna place the hands, walk the feet back, draw the abdomen in, and you're gonna lower your head between the arms. Just kind of hold this position, watching that we don't overarch the back, opening the mid back and getting a nice stretch to the back of the legs, excellent. Watch the head as well. Sometimes we'll tend to push the head forward. So draw the chin in, breathe into the back. And then as you exhale, just gently lead with the heart. Inviting your heart to come a little bit closer to the floor. Final breath. And then when you're ready, walk yourself forward, coming on out. All right. Nice job, everybody. Make sure you keep stretching in your off time. Keep your body loose. And we'll see you next time.